brother? Um, you know, I've got finals next week, so, uh, no thanks. But that's nice of you to offer. Come on. Why don't you bring your book? You can study a little while with that. Mm. Well, you're right, but... All right, um, I'll go. I'll go. Okay, sounds good. I'll see you Saturday morning. Okay, sounds good. Oh, uh, where is this anyway? Hello? Dude, I have the perfect plan for this weekend. Oh, don't you fucking knock? Dude, it's two o'clock. What are you doing? Wake up. I found the perfect spot for hunting. Completely untouched. How do you find something untouched in New York? It's called Kettleman's Forest. I guess the locals are afraid to go there. That's probably just what they tell you so you don't find some rednecks moonshine in the rape shack. Whatever, dude. Just be at my house on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Yep. Are you ready? Hey, are you sure it's okay for me to come? Yeah, of course. They already said you can come. I talked to them. Alright. Well, let's go. It'll be fun. Hey, glad you guys could make it. Hi, thanks for inviting us. How are you? I'm well, how are you? Good, good. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is Drew, my stepbrother. This is Drew, Brad, nice and Brad Mitch. Yeah, whatever. Let's go. Alright. Anyways, you guys ready to go? Yeah! Let's go. Okay. Alright. I don't know what's going on. So where are we going? I told you already, we're going to Kettleman's Forest. So where the hell is Kettleman's Forest? It's deserted, we got nothing to worry about. Bullshit! If this is some kind of prank, you can drop me off right here. Okay, sure, I'll drop you off right here. Now nah, you're already in a car, you can't pack out now. There's no ghosts there, it's just some stupid local legend. So as long as we get left alone, I don't really care. Don't worry, the place is deserted. We have the whole thing to ourselves the entire weekend. And the best part, it's free. So how do you know where you're going? When we get into the town up here, I'm gonna stop and ask for directions. So you don't even know where this place is? How about we stop at a store so we can get some beer? You don't need any beer, dude. You can do it without for a weekend. This guy over here. That's fucking creepy, man. That's how all these people are over here. Hey, man, we're checking inside. Okay, sounds good. Excuse me, sir. Can I ask you something? Sir? You okay? Yeah, what's up? I was wondering if you could tell me how to get to Kettleman's Forest. The hell you want to go there for? Just a little relaxing weekend, that's all. Well, not many people go there. Yeah, we know. That's why we want to go. Well, right up the road, take a right, and you're there. You have to park on the street, though. Okay, thanks. You shouldn't really go there, though. Maybe check out the hotel up the street. I think we can handle ourselves. 
Can you believe this shit, man? They don't have one fucking bottle of beer. Yeah, dude. Let's go. All right. Did he tell you how to get there? Yeah, it's just up the road. So we're here. Hey, you think Brad knows what he's doing? He seems like a spur of the moment type of guy. Brad? No. He gets these crazy ideas in his head and just kind of does them on whim. But uh, he's my best friend and I trust him in my life. I'd expect him to at least look a little into this place before we head out. Well, I hope at least check the weather, man. I wouldn't want to get stuck out here in the rain. Hey, Brad, did you check the weather? The weather? Yeah, why? We're fucked. Does anyone else have cell phone service? Oh no, she can't check her stupid Facebook. Have you ever thought for five seconds that we might need to call for help? I think we've got it covered. Oh, do you? Well, what if one of us gets hurt? What if we get lost? You can't even see the car from here anymore. I've been taking mental notes of landmarks. <laughs> landmarks? What landmarks? We're in the middle of the fucking woods. Chill, Mel. We'll find our way back. It's America. Who gets lost in America anymore? Guys, guys, relax. We're gonna have a good time, right? This looks like a good spot to set up. We're gonna take a piss. Anywhere, my friend. The world is your toilet. Just make sure you take a shit farther left from the camp, so we don't have to smell it later. I like shit in your sleeping bag. Let's go hurry up and take a shit. Hurry up back. Ugh, thank God we stopped. My feet are killing me. I feel like this place is really deserted. I haven't seen any animals or anything. Brad didn't tell you about his little ghost story? No. What is it? Just a local legend, nothing serious. We have nothing to worry about. Well, can I hear it? You know, this land used to belong to the Native Americans, and settlers came in. There was a big battle. They killed everyone. Obviously, they won. They had more firepower. So that's the legend. Apparently, the spirits haunt the woods. Some of the locals have even said to have seen shadows watching them as they drive by. And one time, a boy got lost as his parents were building a cabin back here. Bullshit! I don't know. I think there's always a little bit of truth to those stories. Rich, is that you? I'm gonna kick your ass if that's you, dude. Fucking shit! What was that? Stop it, you're not gonna scare me. No, I heard it too. You're acting like children. Thinking from over here. 
We'll be right back. Come on, I think it came from over here. Came from over here, right? I think so. True! Okay, man? No! Hey, let me take a look at it, man. You got him? Here, sit down, sit down. Uh, 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 fuck. I think you broke it, dude. Uh, God damn it. Uh, Why don't you use your phone and call an ambulance? Fuck, there's no service out here. Of course there wouldn't be fucking service out here. All right, all right. Let's keep calm. Let's get you back to camp. We'll find help from there. So I'm gonna walk back to the car. Oh my god, what happened? Uh, Drew stuck his foot in a hole. I told you it was an accident. Uh, well, let's get out of here. No, we're gonna stay here. Rich is gonna walk back to the car to get help. I'll be back in about an hour or two. Alright, well first put him down. Sit down. And Rich, I hope you don't take any longer than that. I hope you are remembering your mental landmarks. Easy, easy. Oh, fuck. All right, I'll be real quick. All right, let me take a look at this. Thanks, Mel. No problem. That's why I went to school. Ah! Oh, sorry. Okay, well, it's not broken. I think it's really badly bruised, um, but it's not broken. I hope you're right. Would you just stop? I'm sure he's gonna be back soon. He's been gone for three hours. I'm sure he's fine. He's a smart guy. He'll make his way back. Well, what are we gonna do if he's lost? How are we gonna find him? Mel, I said he'll make his way back. It's gonna be fine. No, we won't. Something's wrong. I could feel it. Mel, everything's gonna be fine. You watch too many horror movies. Well, don't you think this is a little strange? Here we are in the middle of the woods, in the middle of summer, and we hear nothing. There are no animals, no planes overhead. It's just dead silent. Hey Brad, why don't you go find Rich? Rich! Over here! Rich, what are you doing? Rich, what the hell are you doing? Get over here! 
Rick, what are you doing, man? This isn't a joke. Rick! Rich, where are you? Where the hell did you go?
Thank you.